two in this war. Good evening, miss. Oh my god, no. Please, Mr. Vampire, don't kill me. Please, no. I'm too young to die. I still have so much to offer this world. Wait, no. Why do you think I would... What? Don't worry, Dr. Reed. I know you wouldn't harm me. Mother told me you were in this part of town and might drop by. Your mother? My name is Charlotte, sir. Charlotte Ashbury. My mother taught me long ago how to recognize the signs that betray a vampire. I understand she also taught you how to tease and gently mock innocent young Ekons. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Charlotte. I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? A few days ago, I spotted a strange house while campaigning for women's suffrage. Awful smell. No answer when I knocked. Where is it? It's the Mullaney's. A nice family who live in a big house near the park in the eastern part of this neighborhood. What do you think about this part of town? I was raised here, and I suppose it feels like home. You grew up in this part of town too, did you not? Yes, I was born a few streets away. A small world, is it not? Did you ever imagine that my mother was your neighbor all that time? That you could have met her in a dark alley at night? You won't trick me twice, young lady. We both know Lady Ashbury never hunts or attacks prey at random. Come on, Doctor. Don't tell me you never thought about that possibility. Her fangs on your neck. Oh, are you blushing, Dr. Reed? Is there something that's bothering you? Too much selfishness and individualism for my taste. Even when there was no epidemic. Even if that's partly true, may I remind you that many charitable institutions are financed by the selfish and filthy rich? I suppose you're right. But society must reform and renew itself, or we are all done for. What are you doing out here? You mean, what do I do outside at night, since I am a woman? Let me ask you a question, sir. Would you ask the same question of a man? Actually, yes. I ask the same question to everyone who dares to go outside at night considering the risks. Well, if you must know, I campaign for the right to vote for all women. Why should I wait to the age of 30 years when men can vote at 21? How are the locals reacting to your claims? People here can't wait for a wall to be built to isolate the West End from the rest of town. That's how progressive they are. If this happens, Emily and I will blow it up. Explosives are very dangerous, young lady. And who is this Emily? She is my best friend, and a suffragette, too. She was supposed to campaign with me tonight, but hasn't turned up. Have you any reason to be worried about her? Recently, Emily started to believe in... Well, she got interested in vampires. I'm afraid she might be in trouble. Let me guess. You spoke to her about us, didn't you? Despite your mother's warning. I think I should try to find your friend. Oh, that would be top-notch. I can tell you where she might have gone. You have my thanks, Dr. Reed. And please, don't tell my mother. Are you a suffragette, then? Oh, you really are, Elizabeth's girl. Without a doubt. All adult women have the right to vote in the US, in New Zealand, and in Australia. But women here can't vote unless they are property owners. No need to convince me, Miss Charlotte. I have shared your opinion for a long time, even before I met Emmeline Pankhurst. Really? Oh, now I see why my mother appreciates you so much. Too bad there aren't more men like you in the vicinity. Tell me about your adoption. What do you want to know? Who are your real parents? Elizabeth Ashbury is my real mother. She raised me and has taken care of me all my life. I have no idea who my progenitors are or were. Do you live with her? I still spend a lot of time in my mother's mansion, but I have my own house now. I have a life to live, you see. And one day, 
I'll have my death to face. How did you meet Lady Ashbury? First, I was an orphan in the institution for girls she manages in the West End. When I was ten, she adopted me, and I have lived with her ever since. Did you know she was a vampire when she picked you? The correct word is Ekon, Doctor. And no, I had no idea why my mother only showed up at night. She told me everything when I turned 16, though I suspected the truth for a long time before that. What exactly has your mother told you about me? Your name and profession, obviously, and the mystery about your maker. I'm sorry to hear about what happened to your sister, sir. Mother says it was not your fault. Does it not scare you to know what I am? What your mother is? Why should it? My mother is the most compassionate woman. Must I be wary of her, Dr. Reed? Or you? Of course not. You have nothing to fear from me, or your mother. Good to know. And don't worry, my mother told me everything I need to know about vampire tricks, their nature as well as features. Your mother is not like any other vampire I've met. I believe she thinks the same about you, Dr. Reed. Do you know why Lady Asprey chose you to become her daughter? No, I don't. Each time I ask her that question, she smiles and says it's precisely because I dare to ask such questions. Do you ever regret that she chose you? Of course not. Though I often wonder if she adopted others before me. If so, where are they buried? How was it for them to pass through life with a never-aging mother? Goodbye, Charlotte. Give my best regards to your mother when you see her. She's been quite busy these last few nights. I suspect you may see her before me. Good evening, Miss Ashbury. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. What are you... You mean... Actually... Well, if... You... How are the locals reacting to your claims? With polite hypocrisy at best or contempt and disregard when they think I can't hear them. Are you a suffragette, then? All adult women have... No need to convince... Really? Goodbye, Charlotte. Give my best regards to your mother when you see her. She's been quite busy these last few nights. I suspect you may see her before me.
Hello? Is anyone there? Jonathan, is that you? I did not know you were back in London. Oh, my dear Johnny, I'm so sorry for your loss. Mary was such a sweetheart. Thank you, Venus. May I come in? I was going to bed, actually. I'm sure you can spare me a few minutes. For old time's sake. Of course you may enter, Jonathan. I'm so sorry for your loss, Jonathan. Welcome here. But at this hour of night? No invitation is needed to enter this building. That can't be a good sign. No sign of a struggle. It seems Charlotte's friend knew the killer and let him in. Emily wanted to become a vampire. Something must have gone wrong. Someone is responsible for this mess. But who? Blood. I should follow the trail. are you? What are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. I'm the Marquis de bois Colombe, and I strongly invite you to find your own game, sir. I appreciate the invitation, but I'm here to solve the mystery concerning the death of a young woman killed by a vampire. A young woman killed by a vampire? Oh, <laughs> you're joking, right? Oh, I do love the British sense of humor. And who exactly are you? I am Jacques-Michel Guillaume Florimond, the Marquis de Bois-Colombe, at your service, my dear cousin. You're French, but your English is quite good. I was born in France, sir, but I consider myself a traveler of this world. Mm, so many countries, so many tantalizing tastes. Dear cousin, are we related? We could be of the same blood, my dear. I tend to consider all Econs as family, don't you? What are you doing here? I recently decided to visit London. I've always dreamed of visiting a city on the verge of collapse. Such a delicate, yet intense spectacle. You take pleasure from others' misery. I have been a totally depraved and immoral creature since the day I was reborn, sir. And probably before. What do you plan to do here? Take pleasure. Take pictures. Enjoy the show. Have fun. Believe me, I won't be the only foreign immortal who bought a ticket to the fair. I followed the trail of blood from her room to here. Oh, you're referring to that young woman. Yes, the meeting turned messy. I'm afraid I ruined my last wedding coat. So you admit you murdered her? I admit nothing, my good sir. I only regret the blood of that girl staining my clothes. Oh, blood can be so messy. What happened? She wanted to become one of us. 
Not the first time I have received such a proposal, but uh, I must admit her direct approach tempted me. And then what? Her body rejected my blood. It happens, you know, sometimes even with voluntary prey. At least her gurglings brought me some fun, until the artery burst. Your cruelty deserves punishment, sir. And what else is new? Ah! Ah!
They're all around you, all waiting for you to let your guard down. Good evening, Miss Ashbury. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. I have found out what happened to your friend, Emily. I can handle the truth. There's no need to hide the bloody details. Your friend was planning to become a vampire. She thought she'd met an honest one and made a deal with him. Unfortunately, Emily did not survive the process. My mother told me many times about the risks of being turned. I often suspected she exaggerated the danger to avoid me being tempted. No, the risk is real. Have you any idea what a body has to endure? To become an organism entirely consumed by its need to process and recombine blood. I should never have talked to Emily about vampires. I never thought she'd actually try it without me. <sighs> Thank you, sir. Here, take this for your discretion. Goodbye, Charlotte. Give my best regards to your mother when you see her. She's been quite busy these last few nights. I suspect you may see her before me.